Hello everyone, Brent Silverbauer here and I wanted to draw your attention to a listing, okay? So this is a uh, fourplex, it's a four bedroom, two bath, fourplex. Now in, in, student, in a student area, student property. Now normally I'm a little more adverse to this type of real estate just because I have some concerns with the enrollment at Chico State, which is up a tick this year, which is good. Um, and four bedroom, two bath can be tricky to, to rent out. But it's just a basic fourplex. Um, looks like it's been remodeled once, but originally built in, uh, I think, 84 here. But here's why it's standing out to me. You can note the price, $6.99. So that's, that's, that's a pretty good price because if you look at this area here, excuse me. Okay, so if you look at this area, so here's this fourplex for uh, $6.99. But look at this, this fourplex right here sold at 1.185 million, okay? And this is all on Hickory Street. And then we have these two up here. This one sold for 1.1 million. And these are very similar. These are four units. They're all four bed, two bath units, okay? So let's look at the, uh, oops. We're zooming in here to this this part of town. And then this one right here, 1.175 million. So right off the bat, it's like, you have three fourplexes on the same street that have sold for 1.1 million and more. And you have this one at 699. So I think what's going on is the interest rates are finally starting to uh, kind of show up here in the, in the market. So let's look at this one real quick. And I wanna just go through it really quick, briefly with you. Now, one thing you'll notice is all these are severely under rented, okay? $1,500 a month, the other ones were getting $2,000 a month. And the condition did not look that bad when you look at the interior. So, I mean, you, you do have white appliances, but it doesn't look terrible. Solid surface, tile, this is bulletproof tile. I mean, it's great. So it's not literally bulletproof, but you know, it's, uh, it's tough, it's durable. And they also pay all, all the water, so you don't have a water bill, so the expenses are low. So let's look at the numbers real quick. just want to show you this real quick. Here, here's my spreadsheet. I analyze all the properties uh, that are residential income properties in Chico. So if you look at this, if you just raise rents $100 a month. Now, some of these, these are going from $1,500 to $1,600. But the ones on the same street are at $2,000 or $1,900. That would be a jump of four to five hundred dollars per unit meaning sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars of cash flow per month if you raise the rents to the market that's really the key i was pretty conservative i say okay if you can get sixteen hundred dollars a month per unit then uh then that's pretty good so let's so this pro forma is i think pretty conservative four percent vacancy rate okay property management fees we got repairs and maintenance here your real estate taxes again real estate taxes are based on the purchase price so if you're at 1.1 million, you're gonna be at $1,000 a month but because you get a lower price, the property taxes are lower. Property insurance, I'm doing 350 a month. You could get this cheaper, possibly, potentially, maybe. Um, these are all rough numbers. Replacement reserve, $75 a month. Garbage, I'm just saying 110. When you look at the cap rate, 7% cap rate. And then at the pro forma, if you raise the rents a little bit and you got it at a little bit lower of a price, 8.2% cap rate. Now again, I am not super excited about four bedroom, two bath, four plexes in College Town, okay? That's one that I'm actually the most nervous about. I'm, you know, I'm kind of like, hey, watch out because Chico State enrollment. But if you're renting apartments for $400, a, less than $400 a bedroom, that's pretty inexpensive. I don't think it's gonna be very hard to find people who will sign up for that at Chico State. Um, you put 35% down, interest rates are high. Granted, 7.5% interest rate, but you're gonna cash flow with this pro forma close to $1,500 a month, 7.42% cash on cash return, 17,000 a year, all right? And this one, if you just keep it as is, which I think is totally doable, totally possible, you pay full price, you just keep everything with the way it's at, $619 a month cash flow, all right? That's after expenses, maintenance, reserves, that kind of a thing already taken out. Not too bad, okay? So um, 
It's a little tricky. I do not recommend self-managing these. I have some owners, they want to self-manage. This one, because they're four bed, two bath, it's a little harder to market. So you want to make sure you have a, a property manager. Plus, you don't want to go through all the different leases. Uh, you want to you want to just you want to pay this four hundred dollars a month, four forty a month is well worth it. It's a seven percent property management fee, in my opinion, well worth it for this. Uh, but there is an opportunity here um, because of the purchase price. Again, if this if this was over a million dollars, I wouldn't be saying anything. Um, but because it is at such a low price, that's where I see, feel like the opportunity is. So that is it. Also, man, if you refinance, let's say rates go back down to 5% in two years and you go ahead and re refinance. Holy smokes, you guys. Let's just say it goes down to 5%. I mean, that's possible. Now you're at 1400 a month and over 2000 a month with a 10%, over 10% or 8, 7.5% cash on cash return. All right. So just throwing it out there. Consider it, think about it, call me if you have any questions. Thank you.